Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'd like to share with you one breathing technique that I love to start my day with, I love to start my practice with or my meditation with, but also a breathing technique that I love to use whenever I feel the need to slow down and allow my body and my mind to take a moment to reset, restore and allow calmness to flow through my body and my mind. Now, this breathing technique also is helpful to activate and stimulate the vagal nerve, which is also known as the emotional nerve, and it is that which communicates to the brain to stop the fight or the stress response and instead activate and promote the parasympathetic nervous system activity, which is the relaxation response through the body. Now, this breathing technique is all about slowing down the inhale and elongating the exhalation. But the most important is that it is practiced along with a practice of love, kindness, compassion and gratitude. And like I've mentioned in many of my previous videos, love, compassion, kindness, gratitude are all feelings or emotions that help to raise our vibrations. They are high vibration feelings. Now to relate this to the uh, vagus nerve, uh, when our vagus nerve um, functions optimally, it leads to better brain connectivity, higher vibrations, low inflammations in the body and lighter mood in general. While low vagal tone um, relates to stress. It is characterized by anxiety, negativity, low vibrations, weak digestion, inflammation, depression. So it's very important to even practice breathing through a lens of love, of, of gratitude and of compassion. You can imagine inhaling love, for example, and emitting the same love in the space around you. All right. Now, what is very important as well is that we don't strain our body, our face, our chest in any way while practicing any breathing technique. So in this video, I'm just showing you the way I practice it. I do recommend that you try out whichever counting works for you. So I'm going to use a counting for my inhalation and my exhalation. And I'm going to start off with inhaling for four, exhaling for five. I'll move on to inhaling for five, exhaling for six, and then I will do inhaling for six and exhaling for seven. Once again, we should never strain ourselves while practicing pranayam or breathing techniques. And of course, if you have any medical concerns or any heart conditions, any eye disorders, if you're pregnant um, or have any, any medical concerns, of course, you need to um, visit a doctor, consult a doctor before starting any new yoga or pranayam practice. Great. So I'm uh, going to start off by demonstrating how I do this. So I always come into a comfortable seated position and create a tall spine, which is very important to create an, an energy channel through which all that prana is going to flow while I do these breathing exercises. Once I have this comfortable seat, I'm, I just start off by noticing my breath and cultivate love, gratitude and kindness towards my own body and towards the space surrounding my body. So I'm inhaling love with every breath in and emitting love, kindness, gratitude with every breath out. Once I've tuned into my breath, I'm going to start with the counting. So like I said, I'm going to inhale for four, three, two, one, and I'm going to exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now I'm going to move on to the next count. So I'm going to inhale for five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And the next step I'll take is elongating it with one more count. So inhaling for six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and exhaling for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And once I'm done, I just allow my breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Still feeling that love, compassion, kindness growing within me and emitting gratitude with every breath. Great. So this was the technique I wanted to share with you. Like I said, explore um, the count that works for you the best. You can start off with three and four or maybe move on to four and five. And it, like everything else, it takes practice. So you can start off with maybe three and then move on to four. Maybe after a couple of weeks, you'll feel more at ease and you can move on to five to six, uh, depending on how you're progressing. I hope that this was useful and uh, interesting. Please do like and share this video and do subscribe to my channel to see more of such videos. Namaste.